I'm Dan Cloutier with uh, Cummins Power Ecosystems. We uh, specialize in implementing small-scale cogeneration systems, primarily in, in commercial uh, real estate. But we do do work in a number of alternative energy uh, areas and we have projects where we're integrating with geothermal and solar and small-scale wind. Um, Cogen ends up being kind of a, a foundational uh, technology for us because it has the fastest economic uh, payback at the same time as providing significant uh, greenhouse gas credits. Well, I, I think that um, in terms of, of meeting emissions, it's, it's very, very important uh, to uh, have technologies that will come to market and be adopted uh, as quickly as possible. And uh, simple payback, s speed of simple payback is just such a critical element of that. If it pays back in a, in a long period of time, people obviously are buying these things, but they don't buy them or adopt them nearly as quickly as if you have a rapid uh, under five year simple payback. Well, I think um, energy efficiency is by far the biggest energy find uh, that Alberta or anywhere uh, can uh, realize and uh, cogen is is one of those highly efficient uh, uh, technologies fossil fuels are so dense in energy and so trying to basically replace ancient sun or an inventory of ancient sun with new suns such as solar and wind etc is is not an easy feat and cogen um, really serves as a as a bridging mechanism for that uh, getting to the ultimate goal, but uh, having a practical, fast solution. Well, I think the opportunity for entrepreneurs in, in alternative energy is, is very good. Uh, energy is actually the largest industry in the world, and, and um, uh, right today alternative energy is, is something less than 10% of the energy mix and I don't think it'll stay that way uh, uh, going forward. As much as anything, price point is the biggest driver that uh, uh, causes a, a change in the marketplace. And so right today we have low gas prices that means that alternative energy is, is currently slowing down as compared to where it was maybe a year ago. And so um, there's a number of, of mechanisms in place that create kind of an, uh, a false price point. Uh, there's a lot of subsidies and a lot of, of things in place that probably would be better to have a level playing field and, um, and see energy prices for really what they are. Um, and um, I think alternative energy won't have a hard time competing in, in that environment, uh, even without subsidies of their own. Uh, fast payback is probably uh, number one. Uh, greenhouse gas credits is, is um, number two, occasionally a, a primary driver. Um, and um, so the fact that, that we represent exclusively two of, of the largest uh, market share uh, uh, solutions, both Asia and Europe, gives them comfort that you know, we have uh, technologies that have been used for generations. And so while it's kind of new here, they're really just adopting very tried, tested and true uh, technologies elsewhere. We've, we see that uh, in every new market that we enter, the adoption curve tends to be slow. Uh, the first thing you have to show is successful local uh, reference stories. Um, being able to reference over 6,000 installs in both Asia and, and Europe is, is 
very important and powerful, but nevertheless, people want to see those those uh, uh, local examples. So having things uh, or or sites like the SNC Lavalin in downtown Calgary now live for two years, and the Derrick Club for uh, essentially a year, and and um, uh, five more installs on the way at, at various phases of, of installation or uh, getting close to live really starts to give a you know a, a wide example of the different types of installs that are possible and in what is uh, the track record so we've had an opportunity to have third-party uh, uh, audits of our numbers from from uh, electrical and mechanical engineering uh, firms etc so you can verify the savings and the greenhouse gas savings and so forth mm -hmm.